Yes, Matt, stay ahead. Hard left, Freddy. Close collision screens. Close collision screens, I, sir. Clear water, approximately 100 yard radius. Atomic indicates subsurface 200 feet. Maybe let the air pocket under the ice. Let's try it. All stop. Flow ballast and numbers four and six. Stand by the surface. Aye, sir. Maintain your trim. 175. 150. Fire detail on the double. Hey, Patterson. Put him in this chair. All sections 67 and 93, there's some minor damage. Overall, we're intact, but the sensors seem to show increasing pressure against all areas of the hull. Get me a reading as quickly as possible. Report any further damage. Aye, aye, sir. Go. ship has broken into the exhaust area. We may be in danger. Activate heat transfer. Intensify to maximum. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Starring Richard Basehart. And David Hedison. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. to be building up ice pressure against the hull. What's our position? 400 feet beneath the polar cap. Uh, that's interesting. Why hadn't you noticed it's getting a little bit hot in here? Chief. Sir. Give me an exterior temperature reading. Aye, sir. It's now 100 degrees and rising. Do you mind repeating that, Chief? It's 145 degrees. 147 degrees. It's 149 degrees, sir. Rather surprising, isn't it? If we are uh, 400 feet under the Arctic cap. Exactly sure of what it was, but uh, my orders left no doubt that it was something like this. I don't know about your orders, Admiral, but if that fire continues, Sea View and everybody aboard will be burned to a crisp.
We have reached maximum on our heat output. That will be sufficient. Return to normal procedures. Fire's gone. You sure? Take a look. Chief, what's the exterior temperature now? 165, sir. It's starting to fall. 158. 147. Dropping rapidly. The fire could come back. Not if we can help it. Chief, break up foul weather gear. We're going topside. Aye, sir. Radiation is still continuing. The source is definitely aboard the alien ship. A reactor of such strength would supply the power we need to return to our ice planet. Send out security patrols to check the enemy ship. If the humans prove hostile, destroy them. Acknowledged. was a small air pocket at one time, but the fires must have carved out the rest of it. Yeah, well, I wonder if the flames are responsible for that tunnel or if something else cut it out of the ice. Uh. Chief and I will take a look. You men check out the damage. Aye, sir. Fine, Ski. I guess as good as mine. This uh, could be just a natural opening, sir. No, I don't think so. There's uh, another one over there. Uh, somebody made these tunnels. Like who? What could be down here? Well, we're here, aren't we? This way, and we'll meet back here in five minutes, right? Aye, sir. Okay. Patterson. Look over there. I didn't see anything. There were two of them. I, I saw them. They, 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 they look. They look. They... Ski. Oh, easy, Ski. Now you just lie still. I've got to get the dock and cement. We've got to take you to sick bay.
things. What things not what they are, but what they're doing there. Look out! He's half frozen. Much colder than he should be. How long were you out on that ice? Well, it was only a few minutes, Doc. He's reacting very strangely. The fall couldn't have hurt him that much. Pat, Pat, Patterson, you, you saw him too, didn't you? St 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 standing there? Sh sure, I did, Ski. Now you just take it easy. He should act very quickly. A little sleep might be all that he needs. Better get back to duty. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Doc. Okay if I keep posted on his condition? Yes, of course, Patterson. Oh, no. I, I, I can't sleep, not now. There's too much, too much to do. Admiral Nelson, he, he, so, um, like nothing I have ever saw, frozen, ice, ice, cold, negative, negative. Count one thousand, twelve, ten, seven hundred, four, one, negative. Skin, facial area, hair, negative. Lungs, Negative. Mm -hmm. Yes, pure. Proceed. Aspiration? Zero. Heart starting to activate. Increasing. Thirty. 35. Respiration reactivated. Normal. Heart normal. Retract. Until I say so. Who are you? I'm Jellet, leader of these Frostmen. My assistants are, as you can see, unlike you and your fellow Earthmen. You are deadly to us. Deadly? Why? Your warmth, your nearness, would be fatal to my, to our composition. Yes, I am what you think. I am a vice. In my world, my planet, there is no heat. It is our enemy. What, um... What happened to the man who was with me?
What have you done to him? He has not harmed him. He is in a state of suspended animation, as were you. He will be revived at your will. My will? Huh? I'm reviving now. At your will, not command. I will show you something. You are now able to move. Please examine this monitor screen. This is part of what is happening to your world. That is more of the damage that is being wrought. Your cities are flooded, destroyed, as the waters of the world rise. But I know all this. That's why I was ordered to bring my ship to the Polar Cat, to find the cause. The cause is very simple. It is our heat transfer which is melting the ice. Heat transfer? Exactly. Even at freezing temperatures, there is enough heat in your ice to be dangerous to us. We are extracting that heat from our immediate area and venting it out on the Polar Cap. Meantime, you're melting the polar cap and destroying our world. Now, what, what do you hope to gain by this? In the snows above us lies our disabled spaceship. We need but one thing to leave your world and return to our own planet. And what's that? Nuclear power. Well, well, what would that have to do with us? We intend to take the reactor from your ship. That's impossible. We wouldn't be able to move it defrozen here. As an intelligent man, you must know that that is no argument. What choice do you have? Your ship or your world? I should think that you would be most cooperative. Now, you said that uh, heat was your enemy. You mean even uh, slight heat like the temperature of my body? That is correct. Approve it. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, Admiral. He will not harm you. The reverse is what will be true. now how dangerous you are to us? I'm satisfied how dangerous you are. You deliberately made your man kill himself. The point had to be made. He was expendable. And so are you. The danger here is represented solely by your kind. Freeze him. Yes, you are helpless now. As your ship and crew will be. Frozen for all eternity. Place this one with the other. I'm going to take care of the invading ship. Activate. Secure the repair detail in the engine room. I want a complete inspection of everything. Sir. <laughs> nothing compared to that which you'll experience if you do not listen to my words of warning. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Kellett, leader of the Fossmen. I'm here to obtain your nuclear reactor. You're not making much sense. But the cold makes sense, does it not? If you will not cooperate with me within two hours, the temperature here will be 50 degrees below zero. Sir. 
23 degrees, sir. And falling. We have no intention of letting you destroy us. Neither did your admiral. What's happened to him? Observe for yourselves. What have you done to him? He is in a state of suspended animation. When you agree to give us your reactor unit, he will be returned to you, along with the other one. We don't even know if we can trust you. True. But you do know it's getting colder in here. Patterson. 21 degrees now, sir. And dropping. How much time do you give us? That's up to you. But rest assured, the temperature will be down to 50 degrees below zero within two hours. What do you make of it, sir? Whoever he is, he can do what he says. Then what do we do, sir? Patterson? All I know right now is that what he said is coming true. It is getting colder in here. It's hot. Too hot. I can't breathe. Easy, Kowalski. Easy. I keep covered up. Head. Head. That's better. That's better. Control room to sick bay. Doc, we need you here for an important conference. Uh, Lee, I've got a very sick man here. I'd rather not leave right now. He's not half as sick as the Admiral is right now. And if we don't get some important answers soon, there'll be 125 more of us in urgent need of medical care. I'll be right there. Ice creatures you're talking about? We've got less than two hours, Doc. Now check the thermometer readings for yourself if you think he doesn't mean what he says. I don't need to. I don't know what I can do to help. Just tell me how long the crew can survive if the temperature keeps dropping. Who knows? A day? Half a day? Maybe hours if it drops too far below zero. Is there anything you can do to help them? A few of them, superficially. But 125 men? No. All the gear is ready for the shore party, sir. Be ready to shove off in five minutes. Aye, sir. Sir, look. Watch it. He's delirious. Whiskey, give him the gun. Go ahead, give him the gun.
will not. Intensify, intensify, destroy them all! Intensify, intensify! transfer. Transfer normal. Maintain. Now check on the results of the human's foolish opposition and report back to me. Up to 600 fathoms. Engine room to control. Captain here. Sir, the ice pressure against the hull broke down our emergency repairs for shipping water. Stand by. Aye, sir. Patterson, check the temperature. See what's happening topside. Yes, sir. Temperature reading 36, normal phase. There's no heat topside now, sir. Mm. Missile room to control. We're shipping water in here, sir. Acknowledged. All stations, stand by the surface. We're going back up into it, sir? No choice, Pat. Surface. Report. The submarine escaped from our heat vent by submerging. Why did you not report sooner? If it is gone, our last chance of escape has gone with it. No. After submerging, they brought the submarine back to the surface in its original position. Oh, the minds of these humans are sometimes incomprehensible. Why would they do that? They must have some plot in mind. Shall we try to burn them again? No, no, not burn. Come. We shall reverse the situation this time. Instead of venting the heat into the grotto, we shall withdraw it from there. But that will bring heat into here. We will all die. Not if we are aboard the submarine when the cold attacks. Position zero minus 50. Excellent. Within minutes, the enemy ship will be completely frozen. After its crew is dead, we shall be able to remove its reactor at our leisure. Captain, 
Would you look at this, sir? Do you read it like I do, sir? Yeah. The heating system's fouled up. Look up there, sir. Well, that, that looks like ice crystals, sir. Engine room. What's going wrong with our temperature controls? I don't know, sir. Our heating units are operating at maximum, but everything's starting to freeze down here. Well, throw them on full emergency status. Get some heat in this ship. Patterson, check the thermal controls. You may be short-circuiting somewhere. Hi, sir. Sir, it's still dropping. What's going on, sir? You think it's the frost man? He's not waiting for his time limit. He's freezing us now. Control room. Control room. Captain here. Engine room. We're we're freezing down here. We can't. We can't. Engine room. Answer me. What about the heating units? Answer me. Engine room, answer me. It is done. The alien ship is frozen, helpless. Yes, it is destroyed as you warned them it would be. We must make certain the nuclear power we seek is still available. Test for it. We are receiving a radiation indication. You have a fix on its position? It is emanating from that direction. Good. Let us proceed with our plan. to see the Admiral. The Admiral's in trouble, right? Gotta got to get the Admiral.
Anybody here? Is there anybody here? Something happened to their instrumentation and activated the device that released us. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the stun gun, I, I fired it. Admiral, the sea view, it's going to be frozen over. I uh, know. These people want to take our reactor. It looks like they've already begun. You mean our reactor is causing all that? They have some way of extracting the heat from this area and bending it into the grotto. If we can find out what it is, we might be able to use that heat to free sea view. 
Now, this might be it. What is it? Looks like the heart of the control system. Sir, if we do like you said, send the fires out there, we'll burn the crew to death instead of freezing them. Not, not if we adjust the temperature. Sir, how can you tell the adjustment's right? I can't. Maximum. Stand, uh, stand by for anything. I think seems to be happening, sir. Something's happening. It's getting colder. It's working. Let's get back to see you. Frequency reducing here. Four, two, three, nine. It is working. The power impulses are feeding directly to our spaceship. When the temperature here reaches 50 degrees below zero, our spaceship will be ready to take off and we can return to our planet. Something is going wrong. Here, everything functions as ordered. Then it is happening at our base. The humans we had imprisoned there. They must have been released. And we have failed. No, we shall increase the power output here. Let the reactor go to critical. It will destroy itself and the ship. Yes, by then we shall have all the power that we need. Spaceship. We'll leave this world half ice, half flame. Chief, if the freeze didn't destroy it, the flame certainly will. We don't stand a chance of what's here. We'll be burned alive. Yeah, something must have happened to the reactor to... Make the heat flare up like that. Sir, we've got to do something to help him. Maybe, uh... Maybe I can break through. Hold it. That won't do any good. But maybe this will. Sir! Admiral, where are you going? You can be trapped back there. Admiral! my way. You are too late to save your ship, Admiral. You're wrong. Freeze him! He is helpless. What about the others? If he was able to escape our forces, perhaps another from the submarine can do the same. Don't be a fool. Look. Do you think humans could survive that? No, we have nothing further to fear from them. They are being destroyed. Let us go to our spaceship and leave this planet.
Ours are out now, sir. We can get back to see you. Well, what are we waiting for? Hmm. What do you think we'll find inside, sir? Hmm. We'll see when we get there. Sir, uh, there's a spaceship out there. It's about ready to take off. If they leave their polar cap flaming like that. That's right. Half the world would be flooded. Come on. You're all right, Henry. It's the reactor, sir. Hey, check it out, will you? Come on, Kowalski. What's going on? The last thing I remember, we were freezing to death in here. You've got to stop jelly. Uh, uh, hit the uh, sail camera, will you? Another chance. You got it. A direct hit. Well, that does it. No more flaming ice in the Arctic. Mm -hmm. No more flooding of the world. Sharky reporting the control room. The reactor's back to normal, sir. Everything under control. You heard what Sharky said, Lee. Everything's back to normal. What, uh, what are you waiting for? Another thing, Admiral. Another thing. We're failing it underway. Ten degrees down bubble. Dive. All dive.